Thank you very much for clicking on my video. A quick word before we begin. If you are new to Trove or wish to start a new account, feel free to use the first link in this video's description. You'll help the channel greatly. What's up guys, welcome back to Trove, welcome back to my little alt account. Uh, I guess this is a quite surprising spot to start a view at, right? I usually go uh, either in my club, no, it's mostly my club world, right? Anyway, we're in the hub today because I want to give you some tips on farming some really annoying dragons, uh, th those fragment dragons that require you to kill various enemies. So I've recently done, uh, let me just find a dragon crucible. So I can actually show you what I'm talking about. Right, so this is a dragon crucible. I've recently, uh, wait, fragment. Yeah, <laughs> recently gained uh, enough fragments for the Emeraldus dragon. And uh, you've probably already seen the video. I've uh, farmed 100 of these in the uh, Jurassic jungle uh, biome. And now I think I got a decent method of farming these. Because, uh, you know, the most, the most annoying requirement there you go, it says these fragments can be obtained rarely from dinosaurs. Well, what this means is you gotta kill plenty, plenty tons of dinosaurs for you to get these fragments. And it's pretty annoying, you gotta be actively, you, you gotta be constantly killing these. It's not the easiest thing and it takes a while as well, so <laughs> yeah, and roughly if you're, um, if you're wanting numbers, in my experience, every half an hour yielded five fragments. This doesn't mean every single half an hour will give you five dragons, uh, five fragments, but uh, overall, roughly every every 30 minutes, I will, um, you would end up with five uh, fragments. That's my experience anyway. And yeah, as I, as I was saying, I got this uh, farming method. It's not nothing revolutionary. Don't expect something amazing. It's just a method for myself to actually enjoy the farming. And I hope you can also use this. Um, as a matter of fact, this is so pleasant now that uh, I'm actually going for the uh, this one, Chrysopea, which requires Kami Dragon Egg Fragments. I already got 41, head close to none. Uh, it says these fragments can be obtained really from robots, and now I'm, I've switched from Jurassic Jungle to... Uh, to the Dino, no, not Dino, uh, Neon City, there you go, to the Neon City biome, and I've started, I've started slaying ro robots there. Um, guess next I'm gonna go after this one, which requires killing bees. Yeah, look at that, got close to uh, close to zero um, fragments on, uh, on this one as well. But yeah, let me show you what I'm talking about, let me show you my method, let me show you what makes this uh, farming experience slightly more pleasant i guess you could say very well let's start with uh, let's pretend i i am still farming the uh, preserver uh, dragon egg fragments let's go back to jurassic jungle right so first things first my recommendation would be using a ranged class such as the such as the shadow hunter and actually i think the shadow hunter is just perfect for this task because uh, especially after the recent buff with the speed movement increase and that's absolutely uh, amazing it's gonna be awesome i'm gonna show you in a second but why range because you can shoot them from a, from a distance you don't have to be close nearby imagine i've done this oh my god I, i've done this on my main with my lunar lancer so i, I actually had to get every single uh, get near every single uh, dinosaur and kill it that way imagine how painful that is yeah, that is absolutely painful. Anyway, so get a Shadow Hunter. Um, make sure this dodge bonus works. M my my speed is absolutely insane after this dodge bonus. And wait, what's my speed? 139. And watch what will happen if I use a uh, potion as well. 167. Ba basically base movement speed because I'm gonna keep on using this uh, these bonuses over and over, right? Look at this. This is insane. Yeah, so use this class, make sure you're, you're gonna be shifting a lot, you're gonna be using uh, your uh, flasks a lot. I actually recommend the Elysian Bandolier, pretty uh, useful because it's got lots of charges uh, in combination with the Trailblazing Emblem, so that's gonna make sure you, you're you using lots of speed. Uh, oh, something else that's also uh, just as important is using a movement speed boost uh, ally, such as this one, the Raptor Berserker, look at what it does. It says right there, gain a movement speed boost when a nearby enemy dies. So yeah, this is uh, pretty... I'm gonna try activate them all. Get this, get this, get this. And that's gonna be 
209, 209, cl basically close to 210 movement speed. This is just basically gonna make sure you're gonna cover a lot of ground and uh, you, will have, you will be able to kill lots of dinosaurs in the process, right? Very well. Now, something else that uh, greatly improved my experience was hiding my class, because I often don't see the dinosaurs. So what I've done was, slash, hide player, so I, I, I only have my crosshair, and this actually feels like a first person shooter right now, look at this. This is so much better, this is so much better, so much more fun, there's no obstruction between me and uh, killing these targets. This is actually like a minigame in of it itself. Look at this, this is so much better. Improves the experience by a lot, you just slay, you just slay these, you just kill them. Like a psycho. <laughs> Kill everything that moves, basically, right? Yeah, so um, it, <laughs> these are basically my uh, my tips. If you want to improve this further, you can actually do slash FOV 50. And this is going to be uh, even more insane. You're going to have a zoomed-in version of the uh, dinosaurs you're uh, targeting. So I, I guess it's also just as fun. But it removes um, a lot from the overall perspective, so I don't know, maybe you're gonna be into it, maybe not. I haven't used this fully, only at times when I got bored. Otherwise I'm rolling on uh, FOV 90 or 100, close to that. So there you go guys, these are, these are basically my tips on how to make this farming experience just a tiny bit more pleasant. Hopefully it's gonna help you, it definitely helped me. And uh, yeah, I, I have like two more dragons to uh, to farm now using this uh, method. I'm, I, I'm farming in uh, Neon City for the God knows what's his, what what his name is, and then I'll have to switch and uh, switch to some random world who has bees in it. Maybe medieval highlands. We will see. So I can finish the uh, breezeborn. I think it is the dragon. Anyway, yeah. So there you go. These are my tips. Hopefully, are gonna be. Uh, hope, hopefully, these are gonna be uh, helping you. Thank you so, so much for watching, I wish you pleasant farming, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching this video, remember to like it if you enjoyed it, dislike it if you did not, and don't forget to leave a comment saying, well, anything that crosses your mind. This will help the channel greatly, I'll see you on the next one.